I'm a professional mountain biker and my name is Aaron Chase. I live all the way on the other side of the United States and yeah, disc is my spot. I grew up in New Hampshire and ended up moving all over the place, but now I'm back in New Hampshire, raising my family with my wife and uh, yeah, I got my two kids. So in 2007, I had crashed really bad at this contest over in England. It was a burst fracture of my L1. I got rods put in and everything else, and I kind of made my slow comeback from there. Seven years later, I'm still like in pain. I've got these, you know, I've got this hardware on my back. I was living with this constant back pain. It was as if I had a knife that was just twisted a little bit into my back. I'd sit in a hot tub, I'd get a massage, whatever I could do to kind of help alleviate it. But for the most part, I just had this like muscle tension. So the first time I had heard about disc was through a buddy, Darren Bearcloth. He had come and seen Dr. Bray, gotten his back kind of fixed up. And since then, uh, my wife and I kind of had questions about like, well, what is that all about? And they work with Red Bull athletes and how is that? Scheduled an appointment, went and saw Dr. Bray. He looked at my back and was able to tell me I can get the rods out of my back. And this was something I didn't even know was possible. A few months later, it got the rods out and immediately felt the relief. Yeah, Dr. Bray's been a guy that really changed my life for the better. That night after surgery, I got the rods out, they put them in a big baggie and threw the baggie over there. I'll, I'll look at that later, you know, and I just kind of rested and I woke up, I want to say like three in the morning and when the nurse came in to kind of to kind of get me comfortable again, I just took a minute of like, wow, like my back feels beat up, it's hurt, there's a big wound in it, a couple holes in my back, but I don't feel that knife in there anymore. So it was almost as if the knife was pulled out and I just had the wound to heal up from. It felt amazing instantly. Like the knife was gone and that the, the feeling of those rods being screwed in was, yeah, a, a distant memory now. For the most part, that pain is just gone and it's just something that I deal with as far as like having a kind of a crick in my back. It's such a cleaner path that I'm on now. I don't have to dread a flight or a day of riding on my bike. Either one really would put my back into a turmoil. So now I'm back. So it was funny. One of the things that I was able to come home with after the operation was the bag of hardware. And it was just in this little surgical bag, zip locked in there, and I was like, let's go to the Santa Monica Pier and throw it off the end, because I'm, I'm free of these, right? But I ended up sitting down and laying all the pieces out and looking at them all and touching them, and they're sharp, and I was just like, let me just start putting these together and just see what was in my back. I was piecing it together going, yeah, this goes here, this goes there, and looking at it and holding it and going, wow, look how gnarly this is and showing it around and now it's just a bit of a paperweight on my desk but uh, really cool to have out of your back and in your hand looking at it going I never thought I'd see you in the light of day. You know biking's a part of me and it's something that I would miss so much if it wasn't in my life so to have these second chances and being able to come back and perform the way that I need to and want to is uh, yeah it's a second chance at, at life. Woo! <laughs>